We wanted to build this curriculum so it wouldn't be a curriculum just for now, but something that could evolve with time. There's an old adage that uh, I remember being taught in medical school that's even more true now. A professor stands at the beginning and says, everything you learn in medical school, about half of it will be obsolete by the time you enter practice. We just don't know which half. Medicine is changing very, very rapidly, and we need to have a curriculum that can be dynamic, that can evolve with those changes. We're a groundbreaking community of problem solvers, innovators, humanists, intent on advancing science and medicine and improving the health and the well-being of our community. We have an incredibly noble mission of healing humankind one patient at a time through leading edge patient care, research, education, and community engagement. The new curriculum leverages so many of our strengths at the David Geffen School of Medicine, leverages our geography, the fact that we are located in one of the most diverse cities and counties in the country, leverages the fact that we sit on a single campus that we share with a top-ranked hospital and clinics and the number one public university in the country. It really leverages the ability to do interdisciplinary, interprofessional education and scholarship, and it leverages our reach as one of six University of California medical schools. Our journey began with a very simple but important question, why? So we engaged in about a year-long conversation across the campus with faculty, with current students, with, with graduates, with the community, with people outside of medicine, and we coalesced around a very specific statement of why. To empower students to become physicians committed to excellence and leaders in innovation, research, health, education, advocacy and humanistic care. The word empower in our why statement is to say to give the learner agency and responsibility for mastering the content. So for example, an emphasis on active teaching. The student perspective is key to us. Um, the students are the ones that are living the experience and they're in the course and they're giving us feedback and we take that conversation really seriously. I was a medical student in the Foundations of Science Committee. I think my favorite part of this redesign process was being in those meetings and feeling like the faculty really wanted to know what my ideas were, feeling that they were constantly asking me for feedback. It was really an amazing opportunity to feel like I was a part of this change. My favorite part of being involved with the curriculum redesign, I think, was really getting to know so many different faculty and staff members that I had not met before. I think that the school really allowed for students to be at the table in these discussions and really be change agents. When we had conferences, we would set up a poster board outside the conference room. So when people came out of the conference, we had a stack of post-its. We'd give them just like random ideas, stick it on the wall. We gathered thousands of ideas, which we sifted through for themes, and that's actually how we identified the 22 new and emerging areas. They range from innovation and entrepreneurship, to bioethics and humanities, to data science, things that we want our graduates to be prepared to bring into practice into the future. Being able to start a curriculum from the ground up allowed us to, with great intention, make sure that we create space for well-being and for other activities. We believe this is very important to develop those habits in medical school and create those good habits for a lifetime and a career. The new curriculum is gonna be case-based, teaching students how to think like physicians rather than just memorizing facts. We have an early authentic clinical experience, which is partnership with community-facing clinics to get students early clinical exposure. When I was in medical school, I felt that um, I learned the best when I was going through rotations and getting that hands-on clinical experience with direct patients care. Instead of spending two years kind of getting ready to get out there, you're really spending that one year and then jumping in quickly and I think that's a, a huge plus for students. The earlier you can introduce the clinical experience, the more it sticks. In the clerkship years, we have eight clerkships including a new clerkship in emergency medicine. We're also excited about the discovery year. Every one of our students in their third year of medical school will have the opportunity to take a deep dive into an area of inquiry that aligns with this outstanding position and. Some students can choose to do a master's degree. Others can engage in one of our eight areas of concentration. There's a wide range of areas that will align with the passions of really all of our students. 
I think the discovery year gives time for reflection. And then the second thing is I think if students, for example, are really interested in a particular area of medicine, then they have that year to try it out more instead of having a short experience maybe between a summer like it was before. But I think the time to try things out and experience it longer too will give students more information when trying to decide what they want to do in the future. The new curriculum brings in a lot of important values in the David Geffen School of Medicine from our work in health equity and anti-racism, our work on humanistic care, our work in research across all different fields aimed at leveraging scholarship to improve human health. And it, it's based on our cultural North Star, which is a set of values that guide the way that we act, how we interact, and align us in our mission of advancing science and medicine. We serve in the LA area a diverse set of patients. Um, the patient population is very unique here, and I think having that opportunity to really understand the different um, presentations of diseases and really look at the health disparities that exist among the different populations here in the LA County and seeing all of that alongside the foundation um, that's established within that first year is, is a great experience. We realize that racism has had a huge impact on the health of our populations and our communities. And as such, we want to have our students prepared to understand the history of medicine, the science of medicine, to identify and call out areas that are based on, on racist concepts. Although I won't be here, I know that you know, I was able to leave something behind, and that is just making sure that the student voice was at the table. The redesign process was a transformative team-building effort for our entire school. It's been a three-year-long process to really rethink what does the future physician need to be. It's really going to be a transformational change in our curriculum that we hope will prepare our students to really have an impact, not just in the care of patients, but in the world.